All right, everybody, welcome back to Wasted Attention's podcast. Today we have a very special guest on the show today, Mrs. Sarah Longfield. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm good, thanks. How are you? Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Oh, no problem. This has been something for real that I have been looking forward to for the last couple of weeks. We try and not gush on our clients or our <laughs> podcast. But I have to tell you, when I saw that you were available, I immediately jumped on this. I cannot get over disparity. Like, <laughs> it is the most, like, interesting thing that I have listened to, I would say, in, like, the last five years. And that is, like, no joke. <laughs> well, thanks. I'm glad you dig it. <laughs> oh, man. I, I'm just appreciative that there's artists out there that are trying to just have their own original sound and... Like I said, it's very really hard to try and not sound like I'm gushing, but I cannot tell you like how many days back and forth I've had disparity on it in my car, back and forth to and from work, at home listening to it. As a drummer myself, the timing is just unbelievable on what <laughs> everything you guys do. <laughs> nice, thank you. Oh man, it's awesome. Um, I know a lot of different publications are picking up uh, just who you are and what you do as an artist. I know that things are really moving in the direction for you here. I, I mean, what what is it like now for you? I mean, you you just must be absolutely busy. Oh yeah, I've been slammed. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's it's so cool. Like you know, working with the label and everything now, and like you know, everything's kind of moving towards, you know, what I was always trying to, to get it to do. So it, it mm -hmm. blows my mind to, you know, see things pop up in, on websites and in magazines. And right. I don't know, I kind of feel like two different people. Like one of me is the the guitar playing, like mm -hmm. YouTube person that, that does that. And then like the other me is just like the one that lives in the shitty apartment and hangs out with her wiener dog and makes art. So it's kind of so weird to see like, those things, you know, because I'm 90% of the time, like, the latter and not the mm -hmm. former. So it's just, like, it's such a such a trip. It's been really cool these past couple of years. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. How long really have you been into this? Um, I've been doing this since I was 15 or 14. Um, okay. So it's been actually, like, 12 years or 14 years now or something. <laughs> wow. It's been a while. I started taking it seriously when I was, like, 19, and mm -hmm. I'm 26 now. So I don't know. Okay, so just that that one point you knew, hey, I really want to try and make a career out of this. Yeah, I don't know. That point, I never really, like, had that realization. I actually wanted to go to college and, like, you know, kind of do what all my friends were doing, but I didn't get accepted into any college, like, that I applied to. <laughs> right. So I was like, oh, no. <laughs> and I just kind of, like, a few of my musician friends had, like, stuck around town, so I just kind of kept making music and mm -hmm. hanging out with them, and I don't know, I guess now we're here, so... Wow, that's awesome. And it just, uh, it just, I, it's like you said, you're kind of living that dual personality, you know, you're yeah. a normal person trying to pay their rent. And at the same time, you're trying to just make it out in the scene. And as we know, in this day and age, it's it's so cliche to say to make it because I mean, that's just such a different definition to so many yeah. different people. Yep, totally. It's way different now. You know, it's uh, it, it's quite amazing, though, as far as the avenues on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. Do you run that yourself or? Oh, yeah. I run everything yeah. myself. I've, like, really wanted to bring somebody else into the mix because I'm, like, the most unorganized person in the world. I think, like, <laughs> most creative people are, you know, like, we're all just nuts. <laughs> right. So it's really hard for me to do, like, the emails and, like, the budgeting and the taxes and the logistics and, like, posting mm -hmm. consistently and stuff. So. I right. really wanted to bring people on, but um, mm -hmm. I, like, can't even seem to be organized enough to keep on top of, like, the emails required, the back and <laughs> forth to even get that set up, so hopefully right. soon. <laughs> right, exactly. You know, it, it's so funny that you, uh, you know, when, when you get an, an awesome artist like this on our podcast, we try to talk about the music side of things and everything, but at the same point in time, you, there's a lot of people that are like, man, how the hell does she do that? Like, what is all involved with that, you know? So we try to keep yeah. it, you know, nice and mundane like everybody else does, you know? Well, I'm always down to talk about, um, you know, like the the actual, like the boring parts of, of what mm -hmm. I do, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people don't see it. I know when I was younger, I wanted to like, I didn't get it. I was like, how are you doing this? Like, right. I know you can play guitar, but like, how are you actually doing this? You know what I oh, mean? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And, and a lot of people like don't talk about it. They kind of like keep it, keep it hush hush. But I, I kind of lucked out when I was a kid. I had a couple people like, you know, kind of give me some advice on, on all of it. So. That's awesome. And I, I mean, as much as I love music, I, I find that other stuff, like the boring mundane stuff, absolutely fascinating. Cause like you said, you're, you're like, I want to know how that person does that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, 
<clears throat> there's so many people out there in the music industry as fans that are like, oh man, they're going to play a two hour set and then they're going to go, they're going to be partying all night. And in all actual reality, they're, they're dragging their ass back onto the bus because they got to be in Minneapolis the next night and got to do the numbers and all that kind yep. of stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I have a lot of people that think I'm really rich. They think oh, really? like, or that I come from like a musical family and stuff. Like no uh-huh. one in my family plays music. And I'm definitely broke. <laughs> and they're like, well, could you have like a million views? I'm like, views don't mean money. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if I got a dollar no. per view, I'd be a millionaire. But yeah, no know. kidding. It, it's yeah. crazy. I was uh, I was watching Wreck It Ralph too with my kids over the weekend, and there was mm-hmm. a scene where they were showing how Ralph had to like get a bunch of views, and they were trying to make money, and he had like three million views, and then when he got the check, it was like fifty bucks, and my kids were like, yeah. "Is that it?" I'm <laughs> like, "That's pretty much how it is, though." Dude, it really is. Like the ad revenue is dismal for musicians. Like Patreon is a lifesaver, so that right. has been like the game changer. But yeah, no, it's it's. It's a lot of a lot of avenues, a lot of like multitasking and a lot of different like, you know, websites and different different things. You got to be like super all over the place. I can imagine. And each one of those likes and shares definitely helps, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. No, it's it's huge. And it, it grows like pretty exponentially. It starts out pretty small. But, you know, once you even just get a few people buying and a few people sharing, it can mm-hmm. it can really take off, which is so crazy. That's awesome. And it seems like. I mean, not to be disrespectful, obviously, I know you've been working at this for like 12 years, but like at the same point, especially with disparity coming out, it seems like all of a sudden now it's like must be all happening like at once for you. I think that's what it looks like, Um, but it doesn't really feel like it. Like I said, I mean, I'm kind of like the two different people, like, you know, Mm -hmm. I'm just chilling in my apartment and it's freezing outside and I've been (laughs) hanging out with my wiener dog for months, you know, so it's, it's always just kind of a trip for me to, you know, see publications and see how how well videos are doing or something Mm -hmm. it's like i don't know it feels like a split personality so i really appreciate it like but it doesn't feel like it's me it feels like it's like the other person so i don't know (laughs) right oh that's awesome though you know it's uh it it must be just so amazing because obviously you know you're doing stuff at home like you you have a lot of the artistic gene in you it sounds like yeah something (laughs) blessing (laughs) and a curse i guess so yeah i don't know it's it's really good i'm at i'm at a a really good place with everything. I have like an idea, you know, where I want to go and what I want to do. And I have a decent amount of downtime now, which I didn't get to have for like 10 years. I was always just constantly like, I've worked every horrible job that you can work. And I was always trying to just like slam out videos and like play shows and, you know, work as many hours as you can fit into a week. And it's nice. I can kind of like really focus on the things I want to do and then have a little bit of downtime, which is I'm so grateful for. That is awesome. Now, yeah. as far as your direction that you're you're pushing things in, are you the main person kind of getting, like, just like, let's say, the timing down, the ideas, are you coming to the table with most of the direction, or how does that work? Um, well, I'm kind of like an unapologetic control freak, di- like, dictator, almost like, <laughs> I have to do everything, and then I just hire people to play my music when we go out live. So. Oh, that's awesome. So they're already coming in knowing like, okay, so this song is going to be this way. Or, well, obviously, if if you're going to be playing Disparity, they're they're just like, hey, you learn these tracks off of here and then yep. we're good to go. Okay. Yep. That's it's pretty awesome. great. And then I just like fly them up a couple of days before tour. Like we were on the set and then we just go out on the road and do the wow. thing. And then I fly them home and then I keep doing my thing. Oh, I've tried awesome. to like write collaboratively, but... I think it's just like there's a lot of different speeds, you know what I mean? Like I've tried to be in bands and I like I have like so many ideas and I want to just do all the things like at all the time, like so much so fast. And it's hard to kind of get like, you know, a bunch of people on that same page, especially if you're really right. weird. Like <laughs> so, you know, someday I'd like to do like, you know, band collaboration and stuff. But for now, I'm just doing it myself. Well, that's awesome. You know, it, it's so crazy. Like the the one thing I was like, all right, I'm going to get Sarah on the phone. What am I going to say to her? And the, the number one thing that came to my mind is that it's crazy because I read a little bit of your background. Like I, I knew mm-hmm. that you've been working, busting your ass at this for years, but it's like you're out there competing in with everything else going on, but it's almost like you're out there competing in your own, in your own genre. It's like, it's like a you yeah. against you because there's nobody yeah. out there right now that sounds like you. And that, that is amazing. Yeah, thank you. I was kind of, like, bummed about it for a long time. I was like, I don't feel like I fit in anywhere. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like, I was, like, kind of metal, but, like, not metal enough to be, like, you know, and then, like, I got lighter and, like, even less heavy, but not, like, prog enough to be prog, you know what I mean? Right, right. I don't know. I'm, but now I'm stoked about it. I'm like, you know what, whatever. I'm doing my own thing. I'm I'm really happy with it. Like, I wouldn't have it any other way, and it's kind of a cool thing, so. 
Oh, for sure. I mean, I can imagine. I, I mean, honestly, disparity, I, I'm telling you, it, it's, I've not been blown away by a lot, of, and, and, like, as of late, especially, like, in the heavy metal, hardcore, whatever you want to call me what I'm in. I don't know. <laughs> but it's, like, I feel like a lot of bands have kind of stuck to the same formula. I guess my biggest thing as a musician is when things are predictable, I kind of get turned off by it. And I did not yep. feel this at all. <laughs> Thanks. I, I couldn't even predict the album when I was making it, so that's definitely <laughs> good to, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> good to yeah. hear. It, it, it's cool to hear that you're you you have this direction. Like you're the director of this. You know where it's going to go, and I, I I dig that. At least you're upfront about it. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm like I warn everybody. I'm like I can't write music with people. Mm-hmm. Like I'm horrible right. at it. I just like mm-hmm. to do my own thing. I've I've always done it, you know, and yeah. I'm just used to it. I have my own flow. I like to. I love the mixing process. I'd rather yeah. have someone else master it, but it usually ends up falling on me because timing and stuff last minute. So mm-hmm. someday, someday oh, I'll, awesome. I'll let Dude. go a little bit. That's <laughs> all right. Hey, you got plenty of time, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it's just, it's, it's absolutely wild. Um, I try and at least write down as I'm hearing the different songs and what can I say that hasn't been said in this minute. I mean, the, the, the structure and the direction that this album goes in, it is just marvelous, man. It, it's Thank you. It's awesome, man, and it just as as a as a fan, I just want to say that it's awesome that you're out there and you're pushing your own craft, and and you're super humble about it too. Like that's all oh, things. Want. I mean, that's not like an intentional thing. I think it's just people need to you know see that like you know I'm just a just a person doing the thing, just like anybody exactly. else, you know. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so. Now I've been reading rumors that there might be a spring tour announced here pretty soon. Can you comment on that? Yeah, um, we are just about to announce a tour with Felix Martin, and that's going to be a full U.S. tour, and it's going to be like May 1st-ish to the very end of May, and then I wow. go overseas and do the U.K. and a little bit of Europe, and then I play U.K. Tech Fest. Oh, man, that is awesome. So, no kidding, you have a little bit of downtime now, but that's surely going to change here pretty soon. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's going to be pretty quick. We've been gone awesome. for a couple months again, but it's good. I love like you know traveling in the spring and the early summer. There's no bugs and it's so like nice and warm and sunny. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, man. I don't know about now. I mean, like in Chicago today, it's it's one. So oh my god, like, yeah. I'm in Madison, Wisconsin, so it's like okay. negative three or four right now. Oh it's been god. miserable this winter, god. hasn't it? I I, I feel yeah. like we got that late start, but now we're being punished for it at the same time. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and it's just unending. Like every three days, it snows, or we get like an ice storm. It's, it's nuts. <laughs> right? I it's can't ridiculous. do it. No, I'm over no. it. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm telling you, it's just it's been too much. Yep. Um, um, with this tour, can we expect to see you in and around Chicago or Wisconsin? Yeah, we're playing. I think we have a date in Madison and Chicago and an off oh, day. Awesome. So oh, you'll awesome. be at the shows and probably at like a McDonald's or something. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> like, great. That's great. And yeah. We'll definitely be out there. We'll make sure to, uh, once everything is officially announced, obviously share it and all that stuff. So we could definitely yeah. check out. Um, do you have any fond memories of Chicago? Have you played here often? Oh yeah. I mean, I love Chicago. I grew up in Madison. So like I was always down in Chicago a lot for shows and just to hang out. Like, I, I don't know. I love Chicago. I think there's like a death metal bar I went to a couple of times where they have like old horror movies playing on tube TVs and like, oh, that's it's awesome. just, yeah, I don't remember what it's called or where it's at, but oh, I'm meaning that, to that's, a shame. Back. that's a shame. Yeah. I, can't even remember. I know one guy, one of our, like a friend of a friend of a friend talked about this place all the time where yeah. he said he went there and he's a total dress is nice he he listens to three doors down and he's like i like the heavier side of things he's like one of those guys <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he, he went there he said and he ended up meeting this girl and that really really liked him but she was into the whole hitler mustache thing whoa so he actually ended up shaving a hitler mustache because he thought it improved his chances but it never did so that was whoa. Like a whoa story yeah <laughs> no that's so i don't weird. know what you think. i know isn't it and I, yeah. I i don't think he listens to this but it just kind of made me think of that but he used to go to that bar all the time because he said the same thing then they play horror movies and it's kind of like a goth bar but it's more like metal and they have yeah really it's cool like a stuff. death metal goth bar with weird horror movies i don't know it's a trip we don't have anything like that in madison so for a while there we'd go down there and I would go to that bar and I'd be like it's just so weird that's awesome that's awesome yep. um, are yep. there any venues in Chicago that like kind of stick out to you yeah I mean we've played Reggie's a ton and I love oh, Reggie's because they give you a free meal ticket and I always would get like the french toast and fried chicken oh that's awesome <laughs> every awesome. time like Reggie's is sick 
That's yeah. Reggie's is, is the greatest man. They had a, yep. uh, they have all sorts of like different kind of nights. Like they had like an industrial night that so they had like oh, really? a ministry cover band. And I oh, mean, it just sick. got sloppy. It just got <laughs> so sloppy in there, man. Um, awesome. you got to try the pork. They have an excellent pork sandwich. Really? Yes. Next and time. Like coleslaw on it. And oh, it's absolutely nice. Delicious. Um, is that the, do you know the venue in Chicago? Are you going to be playing at Reggie's? Um, I honestly don't. I just know the dates that we have right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, like, okay. Not on top of the things. I'm sure I have it in the email somewhere. But oh, okay. Awesome. It'll be announced soon. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We only got to wait just like a couple hours. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, what are you listening to these days? Like when you're in your downtime, like what? Like what's the last thing you listen to? Ooh. Um. Tough call. I really like the new Vola record. Um, okay. I don't remember what it's called, but it has the painting of the girl like swimming through the ocean. It's it's super chill. I haven't been listening to like a ton of prog stuff lately, uh, except that record. Really, it's it's been like a bunch of electronic music and then like that one Vola record because I kind of chill out in the winter. Like, yeah, you know, when you're like on tour all summer and everybody's playing like heavy metal like all the time, like constantly. Right. Like when you're on your downtime, you're like, I need soft, quiet things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, that's so yep. true. That yeah, makes so much sense. There's like different times and places for all that. Yeah, totally. It's like I love it, and I love mm-hmm. like. You know, I've always grown up with it, and you know, it's been a part of who I am. But sometimes when I'm not like on the road, I gotta, I gotta just chill. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, that makes sense. Um, random fact time. Tell me something that most people would not know about you as a person, not the artist, but as you. Um, uh, the best random fact I've got because it throws everybody off is mm-hmm. I can't poop unless I plug my ears. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a really weird thing. I've tried. I can't do it. I have yeah. to plug my ears. <laughs> So did you like grow grow up doing that? I'm like, yep, I've never oh, not wow. done that, and I didn't realize that it like wasn't really a thing. Yeah. Until like uh, my boyfriend like walked in on me pooping one time, and he was like, "What?" Uh, I was shouting out the door. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't hear oh me. God. I was like, "Oh yeah, I plugged my ears." <laughs> he was like, "That's yeah. so weird." This is so. actually like quite fascinating. Now, since you've opened <laughs> up Pandora's box, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, it's all good. So, are we talking about? initially when we pinch off the first loaf are we talking the whole time you're on the throne oh the whole time i'm on the toilet i like huh. can't do it unless my ears are plugged it's like i get like nervous i get anxious i'm like oh no yeah. i just plug my ears like this is freaky huh so just yep. poo not pee though just poop yep wow yep huh i think yep. that's the first and I, i'm sure you get that same reaction from almost everybody too right yeah, totally. They're like, what? Like, they're like, can you tell me a random fact? And I'm like, I yeah. have this really weird one. Yeah. And they're like, I- I've never heard a weirder random fact. I'm like, I know. Huh. That's interesting. It's kind of like that, like, like a neurological, like, security blanket, you know? I just need to cover yep. up these. Oh, wow. I don't, know. I don't really know what it is. I've always done it my whole life. Huh. Well, I guess if it's time for showtime and they can't find you and they're shouting your name, we know where you're going to be. <laughs> yeah, just plugging my ears in the bathroom. Exactly. Yep. Oh man, that's awesome. Well, from it, listen, thank you so much for your time. Um, we're super yeah, excited. For you, hey, no problem, man. We'll be definitely watching out for this tour announcement. We're definitely going to try and hook up in Chicago and try and do something in person. And until then, man, thank you so much. Yeah, sounds good. See you guys in a couple months. Sounds good. You take care. Stay safe out there. Yep, you too.